ever, YouTube Mastermind. Okay, and let's thank Sam, Sam Santiago, for getting Jeremy and Tish here to be our first mastermind. So thank you, Sam. So I'm Sherry Barbera, and I'm your host. And I've been doing a YouTube boot camp meetup since last June. Most of you, thank you. <laughs> Most of you I know and love, thank you for joining us. Tonight, we, um, so there's cake over there for anyone who wants it. My birthday was yesterday and, and uh, thank you. And so we have this amazing cake from uh, Nothing Bunt Cakes. If you don't know who they are, oh my God, you're gonna wanna taste that. Um, so tonight we are going to have our speakers talking about building an audience, creating videos, scheduling posts, how to be successful, all these great things for an hour. And then, questions. So please write down your questions, okay? Hold your questions until the Q&A. Because if you keep interrupting them, we're not going to get through all the awesome things that they have to tell us, so please do that. Then. The library closes at 8, so we need to be out of this space by 7.45. So please don't keep the pros here from the library longer. And let me tell you a little bit about the movie Community College Mastermind. So it is hosted by Jeremy and Tish Bowling. They are also known as the Professor and the Warrior Queen, which is totally awesome. <laughs> You can also find them on internet radio station, Dark Sky Radio. So if any of you are interested in also listening to them, sign up for Dark Sky Radio. They are also looking for people, am I right, to be on your radio station? Uh, sure. Yeah, so they're also looking for people who might be interested in podcasting, so be aware of that. They joined YouTube on September 8th, 2014. What year are we in, guys? 19. How many years is that? <coughs> Not many, right? They currently now, so when I first, when Sam first told me about them, they had 145,000 subscribers. Do you know how long ago that was? <coughs> Not even two months. Not even two months ago. Do you see how many subscribers they have now? 151,000, okay? So it was 145, now it's 151 in like two months. They have 48.8 .8 million views. This is views, all right? And almost 3,000 videos. Almost 3,000 videos. So their channel does movie reviews, <coughs> reaction videos, and almost all of their videos focus on the country of India. Now that's interesting, right? So what do we know about that? Niche. They niched, Niche. exactly. So they niched. So, without further ado, I am going to remove my mic and give it to Jeremy. And that is their email address <coughs> underneath their name there. So if you are interested in getting a hold of them, <laughs> please use the email address. And for those of you that were at Tuesday's class, this is a mini muff. <coughs> this is a mini muff, it goes on the mic. And this is the lavalier mic that we were talking about. Okay, and this is the transmitter. And it's going right here into the camera. So there you go. Can you hear me okay with this? I don't know, you guys hear me okay? They can hear you fine, really? that's going into yeah. the phone. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Uh, okay, uh, before I get started here. Let me click on your shirt. Yeah, let me click on my shirt here. I'm very nervous. Um, it, it's one thing to do videos when you're sitting in your living room drinking coffee and nobody's looking at you and now there are people looking at you. Um, I want to start with a few things. Um, thank you, Sherry, for having me. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah, yes. Sorry, I apologize. Um, I, wa I want to just say, I want to say thank you to my son and my daughter-in-law right here, Joshua and Carly, for coming. And, uh, and then this guy right here, Juan Luis. Uh, is my best friend and this is his lovely bride Gloria and they've come down here so I appreciate it and I want to thank Sam back there Sam uh, Sam is a great guy I, I actually collaborate with Sam and I don't did, did I find you or did you find me Sam 
and, uh, and, and we collaborate. We'll talk about what collaboration does for you and for us. Um, I have a couple ground rules. Okay, the first ground rule is I'm a rambler. Sam can attest to this. I will ramble, and I'm very good at non sequiturs, which means that I will change subjects, but I won't tell you, but in my head, I think I did. So if I go down somewhere, and you're like, what is he talking about? Call me out on it, and I'll try to backpedal. I will try my best to rein him in, because that's kind of my job. It so. is. It is. And then the second ground rule is for my wife to feel free to interrupt me at any time, because happy wife is happy life. That's <laughs> I, I tried happy husband is happy life, but nobody. It doesn't work that way. No, see, no, that's what I get. Nobody does that. Um, I would like to start with uh, a quote, kind of, a quote from uh, Henry Thoreau, American novelist. And uh, he, he had a quote uh, that has kind of guided me on this journey. The channel started in 2014, but we didn't do anything with it for a while. I was just like looking at videos and trying to figure this out. It's been like three years that we've been doing this, maybe four. February of 2016. Right, and and uh, but this Thoreau quote was this, and it was, and I'm going to paraphrase it, and it was something like, "Think about what success looks like to you. Get a picture of that in your mind. Now, what you need to do is you need to make daily decisions on how you're going to get there. And being successful isn't actually getting there; it's it's doing the daily maneuvers. That's what's going to make you successful, because a lot of people will say. This is what I want to do, but they don't ever do it. They make no steps. They make no decisions on doing it. The successful people, whether they get there or not, are doing it every day, making the decisions. I, I make decisions every day to do videos, right? I, I have a job outside of this. I have YouTube, family, uh, the radio station, and, and every morning I try to put up videos. Now, if you guys haven't seen any of my videos yet, you'll know me and Sam have had this conversation. Sam says, how do you put up so many videos? I say, my editing's terrible. It's one take. I do one take, hot take, up it goes, and that's what it is. You watch Sam's videos, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. So uh, the other thing I'd like to know is how many of you have channels? Raise your hands. Wow, a lot of people have channels. How many of you have videos on your channels? How many of you want subscribers? OK, I'm going to ask you guys right now, to introduce yourself to the person next to you and ask them to just subscribe to your channel. So this this is this is awesome. It's like, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So, what's that? Really? This is awesome because when I go to church and the worship leader says to meet, greet somebody, I always hate that part, so it's nice to do it to other people. I've seen that. Don't tell Gary I said that, though. But you can. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to tell you a little bit about how the channel came about. And then we're going to get into some specifics, and then, and then we'll get into some Q&A. Um, my background was in podcasting. I was doing podcasting about 10 years ago. And, uh, and it was before podcasting was kind of a thing. And I would go to people and say, hey, check out my podcast. And they were like, what's a podcast? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and so I, would, I decided I was going to do three podcasts a week. And I would do a podcast, and I would have Tish listen to it. And she and say, what do you think? And she'd say, it doesn't sound like you're prepared. You need to work on this, work on that. And I would work on it. So as you're doing this, find somebody who will be lovingly critical of your ability, right, to critique you, because that's the only way you're going to improve. And so what I started doing is I started doing these podcasts three a week, and the inventory of podcasts grew and grew and grew, but nobody was listening, right? But I had like this solid block of stuff. And we touched on the subject on one of the podcasts about church corruption. And out of this church corruption, it sparked an interest in what I learned. And this is something that I've told Sam, 
is when you're making videos, make a lot of them, right? It doesn't matter right now if people aren't watching. Because what happened is I hit on a podcast that got everybody's attention. OC Weekly picked it up. Uh, Daily Beast? Was it Humble Beast? No, that's a record label. Daily Beast. Daily Beast picked it up. And then people wanted to go back and listen to everything. And I was like, wow, that is really, like, I need to hold on to this. I'm not going to know what I'm going to do with it, but that's, I'm going to use that. And I do that in YouTube. So I, I put up a bunch of stuff and nobody watched to a point. And then when somebody does come by, they find your video and they say, I like this. I like Eric's video. I like Greg's video. Uh, when we actually started putting videos on the channel in February of 2016, I remember when we did our first video celebrating that we had 50 subscribers. <laughs> yes, yeah, 50. It, and it took like a month, I think, to get 50 subscribers. Uh -huh. And then it took several months to get 100 subscribers. And it was very slow going. And every day when Jeremy would go to work, he would always check um, how many subscribers we had. And then he would text me and say, we have this many subscribers. Every day he did that. And then nine months later, all of a sudden he said, we have 6,000 subscribers. And I was like, what? Yeah. I mean, we were just like kind of inching along and then all of a sudden it just, for whatever reason, that's when it clicked and then the snowball effect just sort of started, so. We were on a car trip and the, the channel came about because of my son here. We were on a car trip and I don't know if you remember this, you were either 19 or 20. <laughs> and I wanted to do YouTube and I was I hitting him up because he's a millennial and he's smart and I was trying to get him to edit stuff and do thumbnails for me and and he, he would do it and I would try to like bribe him with an extra four dollars or something like that but he was also a college student college, and very yes. busy so. yes and, and, and he politely said in a loving way your editing skills are very poor <laughs> don't be discouraged by it use it to your advantage because I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a YouTube channel about comic books. I wanted to talk about comic books and teach you everything you want to know about Wolverine or whatever. And he said, call it Movie Community College and you can be the professor because you're a community college, you're not the big university. That way you can play off your production value. And then I was going to, you know, it's going to be Wolverine 101, 202, 303. So I started doing these videos and... And you know, the comments I would get on him is you suck. Like this is terrible. Because <laughs> what, what I would do is I would just I would just I would podcast and I would take a thumbnail of Wolverine and spread it out over the video and you're just looking at a static picture, listening to an audio file, and people were just like, This this is really bad. Like you just like you and get also, them. and then you would get comments. Um, I'm sure you're all familiar with trolls online. Yes. Lots of trolley comments like, what kind of professor are you? Yes, yes. What kind of college do you teach at? Yes, yes. this is terrible. Um, and I got, a, um, I got a webcam, so I was moving up. I got a webcam. We bought a laptop, and it was the webcam that was in the laptop. And it was like really grainy, terrible video. And, uh, and I, but I'm excited because I can move away from this static picture and now show video. And so I was just sitting there talking about things. And I, I, and, uh, I think it was Ip Man 3 came out with Mike Tyson. <laughs> and so I did a reaction video, and it had a little cheesy effect where smoke came out of my ears because uh, I was angry about, you know, whatever. And I got a comment from an Indian guy. Mm -hmm. And an Indian guy said, I saw this. Have you ever thought about doing anything on Bollywood? And I said, Bollywood? I mean, I know it's a film industry. I didn't realize it was in India at the time. Right, we thought... Bollywood, we thought B A L I yes. Bali. Yes. Not so. So I said, Can you recommend something to me? And he said, Ah, oh, yes, there's this movie coming out called Bahu Bali. Why don't you do a reaction to the trailer? So I got the trailer. <laughs> I got the trailer and I'm watching it and I'm thinking this Indian guy is Navajo. That this is going to be some kind of Navajo <laughs> Indian. <that> I did. <laughs> and, and, and I have this because I am a rambler, I'm watching this and it dawns on me this is Indian subcontinent, not Navajo Nation. And what I said in the video, <laughs> I said, oh, this is dot, not feather. <laughs> and the, and I, didn't, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean it out of a hateful place, but the Indians thought that was hilarious. Because, 
the <laughs> subcontinent, the subcontinent <laughs> Indians thought this was hilarious because here you have this white guy with terrible production, has no idea what's going on, and they started sending me all kinds of stuff to react to. I got a second, I got a second one, and now this one was bad. This one is a movie called Shole, and Shole is a classic in India. It, Shole came out in 1975 and they still show it in theaters in it's still India. still in theater, right? Wow. Yeah. It is such a classic. The music of India. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And yes. <laughs> yes, essentially. And uh, so they still show it. One of the lead actors is, um, he's a, an icon yes. in India. Yes, Amitabh Bakshan. Yes. And so I'm, I get this trailer of it, Right, and I haven't seen an Indian film yet because I have no idea that these can be five hour long and they're musicals. I have no idea at this point yet. So I'm, I'm watching this trailer. Now you think about culture. You think about when you see something in America, in our culture, whether it's right or wrong, you form an idea about it. You say, oh, this is this, this is that. In, in the film, our lead, Amitabh Bakshan, who is revered, is in a scene holding hands with a guy walking down the street. And I think to myself, and I say, wow, that's really progressive in India in 1975 to see two men holding hands in the street. I didn't realize it was, it's a different norm. Like, that is very common. That is very common. That is a sign of friendship. And the Indians got really mad at me this time. This time they were like, how dare you disrespect Amitabh Bakshan? How dare you? Yes. <laughs> Just again, if you know nothing or little about India, um, they revere their actors and actresses as gods, yes. for real. Yes. And Amitabh Bakchan, also known as Big B in India, he's like way at the yes, top. He, he so, um, so they did not take kindly no. to Jeremy's <laughs> innocuous comment. Yes. They thought he was really intending to insult and him. And I did, I did not, I did not, it was the rambling. And so I quickly pulled that video down and said, before I move forward, I need to learn about India. Because this is going to be over before it begins. I need to, I need to learn about it. And, and so what I began to do is I started watching the movies. I started listening to the music. I started studying Hinduism. I started seeing things in their culture. And what I found is they're a lot like us. Like they, 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 they have families that are very much pro-family. They want... You know, they want the same things that we do. And, and so moving forward, it, it was really a blessing in disguise, right, for that to happen because it forced me deeper into the subject matter. And, and I, I, I think when I look at our peers on YouTube, um, when it comes to foreigners, I, I, don't, I don't think there's a, a couple that is more knowledgeable about about the film industry that I have seen. Now they may be out there. Well, there are not a lot of couples that are actually um, talking about India, American couples talking yes. about India online. Um, and Jeremy likes for us to do a lot of things together. Yes. And so he said, I think you should do these videos with me. Yes. I don't like being in front of people. I don't like being on camera. And I don't like the sound of my voice. I'm like, I don't think I want to do that. And he said, just one, just try one video with me. Just be in one video. And I said, okay, I'll be in one video, but I'm not gonna talk a lot. <laughs> and he said, okay. So he had me in one video, and I didn't say a whole lot, but the Indian said, who is that woman? You need to have yes, her in day. all of your videos. <laughs> yes. And I was like, um, no, that's not, it, that's not possible. It, one of the comments that we got um, being together is they enjoy the banter. And that banter is based on because we've been together 27 years? We've been, we've been married 26 years. Close. We've known each other for 29 close. years. Close. That was close. Ballpark. Um, and, uh, and so when we're on camera and we're arguing, we're really arguing because we're an old married couple. <laughs> when we're getting along, we're really getting along. And I think that, that genuineness comes. So this journey was, was filled with so many mistakes, right? So many mistakes that I, I'm hoping that we can we can shorten that curve for you. Mm -hmm. I um, I was listening to uh, I used to listen to Masters of the Web, and it was a guy named John Campia and a bunch of people, Chris Stuckman, and they would talk with YouTube experts about about this process. 
And, and what they told me, what they said, what I listened, and I, and I think it's true, is if you're going to be a big channel, if you're going to be a big channel where this is your, your sole income, right, where you're, you're at that level, it takes about eight years in that journey, right? And that seems like, wow, eight years? You know, that's kind of counterintuitive to what we want in the microwave society. Let's plant the seed now, right? Plant the seed now, let that tree grow. And they said the first two years, don't expect any subscribers. What it's about in those first two years is figuring out who you are and what you're doing because it's going to change. And, and for us, it did change a couple of times because yes, yes. as Jeremy pointed out, it started off as wanting to talk about comic books, comic book shows, comic book movies, because we love all of that stuff. Um, it quickly changed into let's talk about India and look at Indian music and Indian movies. And then an Indian man said, did you know that Indians were, um, instru or Russians were instrumental in helping Indians to get their movie industry going. Yes. You should look at Russian movies. Yes. So then there was a short foray <coughs> into Russian films and that was kind <laughs> of a disaster. It, it, was, it, was a, it was a big disaster. So we it, looped yes, back we looped to back India around. and all of that took place in the span of 16 months. Yes, and so, so. When, when Russia happened, we began to get Russian subscribers. Uh, Putin responded to one of my videos oh my on Russian Rude. television, which caused a whole lot of issues because at the time I was joking before we had the Mueller investigation going on. I would joke in the videos, uh, President Trump, if you need my back channel of Putin, it's open for you. And it was a, it was a joke, but then er everything turned quickly. And, I, and the, the learning curve on this one was, <laughs> right, right. Don't say that stuff out loud, think it in your head. Uh, and number two, you get a niche, enjoy your niche. Yes, yeah, stay with it. I, I stumbled into the Indian niche, and then I went for a Russian niche, and the Indians started leaving in droves. Yes. Droves, because they wanted their content. And there was one in particular, a young guy named Arjit. Yes, Arjit. Who, um, he was one of the ones who was instrumental in actually getting us to focus on India yes. in the first place. Yes. And then he would say, Professor, what are you doing? The Indians are leaving you yes. in droves and they love your channel, don't do this. Yes. And so then we came back around to India and um, he was like, okay, thank you for listening, and, but you're gonna have to actually prove yourself again because so many people yes. have left. Um, and so Jeremy wisely said, um, Tish, I need you to be in the video with me yes. so you can ask India if yes. they will please subscribe yes, to our yes, channel. Yes, yes, yes. So, <laughs> and so that's so what I, I did is, is, well, what we did is Tish would get in the video and say, will you please subscribe to our channel? And quickly, what the other lesson I learned was quickly, the Indians love Tish more than they love me. And that was, <laughs> it was much of a, 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 a great help. Now, that journey led us to here. Right, so I get about 2.2 million views a month on our channel, which works out to be 6.7 million minutes, if analytics are correct, that people are watching our content. And, and it's very doable. Like, like I've sat and talked to some of you people. I mean, look around the room. You guys are definitely smarter than I am, better looking, more talented. There's no reason why more hair. More, yes, more hair. Okay, that's. I'm watching you right now. Uh, uh, you guys, no reason why you guys can't be bigger than I am. I, just there's there's no reason. The only thing that's going to stop you are, is are you going to make those daily decisions, to chase after it, right? Be, I mean, like when I first started doing reaction videos, I would watch the video and I would do nothing. I would just look at it. I would watch it and then it was done and then I would say what I thought. That's not at all what reaction videos are. If you go and watch reaction videos, what everybody is doing is like, how crazy can I look during this reaction to get you to watch my videos? And they, and they, they get crazy. Also though, you're going to find people who will tell you what you need to do with your channel, but you need to figure out what works for your channel. Yes. What works for our channel may be totally different than what works for yours. We have well-meaning people online that will leave comments and say, you should do what so-and-so is doing. You, have you seen how they react to videos? 
they have something else going yes. on. We're doing what works for our channel. And what works for our channel is being who we are, being yeah. honest about Maybe who authentic. we are, being authentic, being open. The Indian people know that we're not Hindu. They know that we're born again Christians. They don't care. They, don't care. they see that we respect them uh -huh. and that we're being open and honest and they appreciate that. They're, they're not looking for somebody who's phony and trying to be what somebody else is. They don't want you to imitate somebody else. They right. want you to be who you are. Be who you are, right? Find your niche, be who you are, commit to making videos. If you say in your mind, my, I'm going to do a video every Friday, do it every Friday. Because if you have three, three subscribers, 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, they know your pattern. They are aware of your pattern, and if you disrupt that pattern, they'll go somewhere else and watch. They'll go find your topic somewhere else. I don't know if I don't, we had to work out a formula yes. for our videos. She has to be in one video a day. Right. If she's not in one video a day, people start like, where's the warrior queen? I'm gonna go over here. Look, they got their family in the, the video. They got their the figurative pitchforks come out yes. if they don't see me in one video every day. And we've had to explain to a lot of them, well, to all of them. Jeremy does most of the videos that are on our channel in the the wee early morning yes. hours before he goes to his full time job. I'm in bed at one in the morning, so I'm not doing videos with him at one in the morning. So on one of his days off, we take a block of time and we record a ton of videos, just, just the two of us together, so that way once a day he can upload a video with me in it. That's what they wanna see. They're okay if they see five other videos with just Jeremy, as long as I'm in one. So. Um, the fastest way to grow your channel, collaboration. Uh, Jabby Coy, who is the number one guy in my genre, just hit a million subscribers. He, uh, he, he makes close to a million dollars a year off of YouTube, right? That's crazy to me. And he, and he said collaboration. Get different faces in your video. Doesn't matter. Sam and I have collaborated a couple times. We're nowhere near the same ballpark. He's covering Phoenix and kind of like what to do in Phoenix and facts about Phoenix from a guy from New York who moved in, you know, to tell people. I'm doing Indian films. And, and yet I get, I put Sam in the video and people stop and say, who's this? Yeah. What's going on? There's somebody different. What's going on? They watch. Do you, I mean, do you get any comments when I'm in with you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So collaboration is very important. You want to speed up that two years? Collaborate. Build community, right? Because if you have community, you win, right? That will help you in the niche. I mean, I, I, I was mentioning <clears throat> earlier, look at how many of us that are here with YouTube. What if we all banded together and helped each other? What if we all banded together and went somewhere and said, hey, listen, we're the local YouTube community. Why don't you sponsor us? We represent this piece of business. That would be nice. You know, that'd be nice. It'd be nice to like work out a deal with Talking Stick or, you know, Travelers Bureau, or Visitors Bureau. Is that, like, I don't right? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, so, so <laughs> non sequitur time. So, the 72 shut. Sorry. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll bring it in now. Um, the Traveler Visitors Bureau, I think that's what I'm trying to say. I'm getting nervous and tongue tied. Juan is looking at me. We'll come yeah. back to Yes, we'll come back. So I think we, we need community. We need to be in it together because as it rises, it lifts all of our boats. You know, the, the rising tide lifts all boats. And this is, a, we can do this. Like, if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you guys can do it because I'm like the most untalented. My, my editing's terrible. I mean, it's, is it not, is it terrible, Sam? There's no editing. There's no editing. <laughs> There's none. There's That's none. a true statement. It is yes. the hot take, up it goes, bam. That is a true statement. And people will say, your editing is terrible. You're never getting any subscribers. Eh, okay. But that's also <coughs> how we know that the people who watch us, that they're really watching for us because there's nothing on our channel that would otherwise draw you to it. The, the camera quality is terrible. <laughs> it's so the, terrible. The microphone quality <laughs> is not great. It's terrible. We're both sharing the one microphone. Yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's just awful. And yet, people will constantly make comments that, 
I love you guys. I love your banter. I love your authenticity. I love what you're talking about. I love that you're taking the time to get to know something about India so you can discuss it with us. Yes. And, and so you, you don't need to be high tech to do this. No. You don't, you don't need to have all that equipment. You don't. We've done something as simple as literally getting in the car and taking Jeremy's cell phone and making a video about something in the Phoenix area. Yes. And then just popping it on the channel, and they're amazed. Yes. They're, they love to see that because they they're like, it. "Oh my gosh, that looks like uh, that looks like Mumbai, or that looks like Delhi, yes. or it resembles a certain part of Tangier. northeastern yeah. India." Yeah. So they they like to see that because it makes them feel like they're part of our community. Yes, it, and, and so it, it's you can do it. I mean, if I can do it, I know you guys can. Yeah, do it. that's you not very high tech. Yes, yes, and, and collaboration. So what I mean by collaboration is. And I brought cards with me too. So if anybody wants to collaborate, I'm open to that. Where I would, I, like with, what I do with Sam, me and Sam will get together. He does two videos for my channel at a time and then I do two for him. And, and then he edits and posts everywhere he wants to, how he wants to do it. And his, his editing is beautiful. He's got nice little thumbnails and stuff. I don't, I just throw it up there. It's very nice, Sam. I just it wave is. it up. Yeah, it's very nice. Sam's got a great video, right? And then here's, here's the thing that I think like, when I talk to Sam about having a ton of videos, cause he's got a video that I know is going to, to trigger people to go watch his other stuff. It's a video. Sam's a big guy. Your brother looks massive. Is, how much bigger is your brother than you? That video is hilarious. Almost twice the size. Twice the size. So in the video, we see Sam tied up in the garage <laughs> on a chair, gagged, while his brother took over the channel for a day. And his brother is, is and, it's, it, and it's hysterical. It's hysterical, and so it, it, and he has a good amount of videos. So if somebody hits something like that, now they want to go see what else Sam has. Let's go see what else. What other crazy adventures is Sam going to be on? And so, that that does happen. We we get people that comment regularly that will say, "I'm a new subscriber," or "I'm not sure that I want to subscribe yet." So I've been watching your videos for 36 hours, um, or I literally just watched 100 of your videos. We're like, okay, so I read, they will do that. I read somewhere, and I don't know how accurate it is, that the average YouTube video is watched for 15 seconds. But you get 15 seconds on it. We get like uh, two minutes and 57 seconds. And again, and it's not being done with high tech anything. No. Be compelling, be yourself, right? Um, because there, there are going to be people who appreciate that. And, and, and out of this, out of this base that we have built, you know, we now have an internet radio station, and that, is, that has taken that YouTube base that has crossed over on it, and they listen to this. And, and, and in return, I do uh, programming for India uh, called All India. That's not really all. I call it All India All Day, but it's really not. It's truncated. And, and that's led to other things. So this YouTube platform can lead to other things. And, and I also will put this in mind just to kind of show you, like, how ridiculous it is that I have the numbers I do. I'm not on social media at all. There is no Facebook or Twitter for me to promote this. I, I just go and rip it. It, it. I have a Twitter account. It's my personal Twitter account, and it's the only social media yes. that I'm on. Yes. Um, I Facebook is a dumpster fire, and so I got rid of Facebook and mm -hmm. never had much of the rest of it. <coughs> but I like Twitter. I follow people on Twitter, I should say. I don't really like it, because that's a dumpster fire, too. Um, but one night, I was on Twitter just kind of looking at different things and um, I had a notification that I had a new follower, a particular new follower, and I thought, this can't be right. This has got to be like a fan account. And it was um, Amitabh Bachchan, the actor that we told you about from the 1975 yes. Shirley movie. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and I thought, this has got to be a fake fan account, right? I'm a Dallas Cowboys football fan. For all you haters, you don't have to tell me. I love them. And, and one day, I got followed by what I thought was the Dallas Cowboys account, and I was so excited. But it really wasn't them. It was a fan account. So when I saw Amitabh Bachchan follow me, I thought, OK, it's a fan account. So I pull it up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's really him. Yes. It's not a fan account. It's really actually him. I could not yes, believe yes. it. So I was like. Okay, that's like the extent of our social media yes. is my personal Twitter yes. account. And somehow our Indian friends on the YouTube channel 
got to him yes. and said, hey, you should watch these people. They love India, and she loves you in particular, and he followed me on Twitter. Which was a long way from stepping into it with India over yeah. Amitabh Bakshan and everybody right. hating me. Right. Now Amitabh Bakshan calls my wife on Twitter. Yes. And, and this has been really, for me personally, gratifying because in my work, business dealings, mm -hmm. I come across Indians who own businesses. <coughs> and uh, and what, it, it's been such a great point of entry to start talking to them about India and they are absolutely shocked. Absolutely shocked. So I was, I was today. I was, I was at a Dairy Queen selling some stuff to this guy, who was Indian. He was Hindu. I could tell by his bracelet because I spent time now studying Hinduism. And I said, "Sir, what part of India are you from?" He said, "How do you know that I'm Indian, and I'm not Pakistani?" I said, "Because uh, you look like you're Hindu with your bracelet, and that's, that's not really what happens in Pakistan." <laughs> and he said, oh, "Okay, good point. I'm from Mumbai." So you're from Mumbai. Do you like Mumbai Indians, which is their cricket team? And he said, I am Indian. And I said, no, no, sir, I mean the cricket team. I, I root for the Chennai Super Kings. And he said, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know about, I said, I love Emma Stoney, who is like their Babe Ruth. Yes. And he was like, what? I said, I, do you watch the films being from Mumbai? Because that's their film capital. And he said, I, I, I do, do you? I said, yes, there's a film out, Uri, did you see Uri? And he was like, oh, it just blew my mind. And next, thing I know, next thing I know, he's feeding me ice cream and just like, hey, have more, have more. And, and, and uh -huh. recently, just a couple of months ago, you were in an account, uh -huh. servicing the account. And um, the man who owned it was Indian. And he kept looking at Jeremy. And he's just kind of staring at him. And Jeremy's like, I don't know why he's staring at me, but I'm, I'm just servicing the account. Well, it turns out um, through a series of questions that he leads yes. up to, he asks Jeremy if he's the professor. Yes, yes, yes. And that's, yes. And that's, that's a little weird, yeah. like, because it's one thing to do something in your living room, right? And you don't think there's going to be much repercussions. <laughs> and then I get, in the, and like, and what I, what's happening now are coworkers have figured this out. Oh. And, and so I'll be at work and people will be like, Professor, what's up? And I say, <laughs> I'm a subscriber. And they're like, oh, okay. Uh, I, I have a, a list of questions. I thought we would, I, I'm going to go through these questions and then we'll kind of open it up to, to whatever. A free for all, a, uh, like a cage match question and Not answer. Last man standing. <laughs> My money's on Sam. He looks pretty. Um, okay, so, <laughs> what kind of SEO are you doing and did it help you? Boy, oh boy, do I got a story about this. Yeah. So, on my YouTube journey, I'm making these videos and I get to description. So, you put the title. This title is going to be reaction video. Description. That's stupid. Why would I describe it? It's reaction video. The tags? I'm not going to do any tags. I'm, it's a waste of time. And so, I'm cranking out these videos. <laughs> and, and I'm getting views on them, but there's no metadata at all tied to this. And I'm getting these phone calls from these management companies that want to help you like, hey, listen, well, I saw your YouTube account and what we can do for you for only 30% of your, your, uh, you know, your AdSense account, we can help. And I would get these all the time and I would think like, wow, 30% is kind of steep. Like, I don't know, should I do this? This guy, and so I decided, don't do it, right? Don't, we, we have all the power right here. We can figure stuff out. We don't need this, right? So I said to this guy, let's have a conference call. Tell me exactly what you're going to do for me. So I, absolutely. Mm -hmm. First thing we need to do, we need to fix your tags. My tags, why is that? Well, don't you know that's how Google finds you in the videos, and if you don't have any metadata, you don't have any metadata, <laughs> it's gonna hurt your searches. And I think if we tag everything properly, you will double your views, your subscribers, uh, and your money. And we did it. Well, no, she did it. Yes. Because I that became a, uh, mm -hmm. go ahead. That was a lengthy process. Yes, and yes. I have not gotten through all 3,000 videos. Um, what we decided is from that point going forward, we would start tagging all the videos. And then I would start working on the videos that we had already put up and start tagging the videos. It took a very long time. Yes. We're not even through with it. But we noticed immediately, immediately a difference. Tag. Yeah. And if and if you're if you're not sure like what to tag, you can use I don't I think Social Blade has something. Sam, what do you you use something that gives you? Tube Buddy? I use Tube Buddy and Morning Sam. 
Okay, you guys know that, right? You're ahead of me on that. Could you say yeah. it again? Two, two buddy. buddy and morning thing. And it will tell you, like, if you see somebody with, like, a million views, right. go copy their tags. Right. And then what I started realizing is, what could I do then to manipulate this piece of data? So what I did is, oh, the number one guy, Jabby Kawai, I'm going to put his name in my tag so when people are looking for him, my right. videos pop up. And I at least have a fighting shot at trying to steal some of his audience. Right. So tag, that's very important to do that. And then they've changed it to hashtag. Right. Hashtag, and I said, that's stupid. I've done all this metadata, why would I hashtag now? <laughs> and somebody explained to me, you're hurting yourself, and I did it, and, and it it's instantly yes. changed things. So you have to get a good description. And I hate yeah. saying it, I would just rather not put anything in there, but it, it really hurts. So that's what, tag. Um, you wanna do number two here? Yes. Are you transcribing your videos so you put that in the description so you have all the words in there? Uh, no. no. That's another big thing you do for okay. SEO. The, uh, and there's yeah. transcription yeah. services, so yeah. you just send them, the, send them the video, you get back the text, and you paste it in that description. Like really? Yes. Uh, yes. It sounds a lot easier. It is. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, transcribe. YouTube does it for you. You go to your studio, your beta studio, mm -hmm. and transcribe, transcribe. Really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. A lot of words are wrong. The lie is yes, wrong. yes. I see, look, I'm stumbling in the dark. You guys already <laughs> have this. There have been many videos made about YouTube's transcription yes. and how They're silly some of it can be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, how do you get viewers to send you commercials, et cetera? Um, what we decided is that because India was new to us, um, we just started watching all things India. Old movies, new movies, uh, movie trailers, Indian commercials. We watched anything that would tell us something about India. And once we started making those videos, we didn't have to ask for suggestions. They poured they in. We get them thousands a day they of come. different comments, suggestions, messages on Twitter, direct tweets, you name it always saying, you know, watch this movie, here's this trailer, react to this song, um, or how about this Indian commercial? A lot of their commercials are hilarious. Yes. And um, thus my crazy face on the screen there. That yes. was one of the commercials we were reacting commercial. to. That was a Mentos commercial. Yeah. Um, the chicken had bad breath. And so once they <laughs> see that you <laughs> find something funny, yes. Yes. Then they send you others, yes. and they say, "Oh, if you like this commercial, then you'll love this commercial." Yes. So react to this one too. So you don't even have to elicit, or you don't have to solicit, I should say. Um, they just send it to you. They they tell you what they want to see because they're interested in watching our reaction. Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter to them if it's a movie, a trailer, a commercial, what have you. They just want to see how we react to it. Okay, number three here. Yes. Oh. Do you guys respond to 100% of your own comments? Do you outsource that or just don't have them? It's important to respond to some of the comments yes. because that is a way that you can build community. you got to come in here. You have the microphone. Um, that is a way that you can build community is by responding to some of the comments. When our channel was smaller, I did respond to 100% of it. With the amount of subscribers that we have now and the sheer volume of the comments, I can't do it. Um, so basically what I do is I will go through all of the comments. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that are held and that get deleted. If it's profane, if it's crude, if it's something where they're literally just trying to troll for subscribers on my channel, that all, all of that stuff gets deleted. Um, but otherwise, we go through the comments and there are certain people that we will respond to. If they say, I'm a new subscriber, they yes, always get a response. You. They yes, always get a absolutely. thank you. Um, if there's something that is extraordinary about their comment, at a bare minimum, I will like the comment, I'll give it the little heart, something that lets them know that we saw it. Um, but it's, it's impossible to respond to everything. Um, even with my Twitter, like I said, it's my personal Twitter, and I get, I can't even tell you how many messages every day from different Indians saying, react to this, react to that, respond to this. I don't, I don't even respond to most of those messages. There's just not enough time. I love this one. This is my fourth request. I'm unsubscribing. Like, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. We get that um, 
let's see. Um, I would say about comments too, community is very important. Mm -hmm. And this is a proven way of gaining subscribers. You want more subscribers, right? Go find the people who are in your niche that are big mm -hmm. and become fans of theirs, right? Because this tactic works for me a lot is I would go on the bigger channels that were doing this and saying, hey, that was a great video, man, good job. And, and they start seeing the comments over and over and over again. And the people who are watching will say, huh, I wonder what they do. They go and click on it and they take you over to their page. Right. And this, this is something that is like, a lot of people don't do and it's, it's so easy to do. And now, and now the bigger channels look at you favorably, like, you know, um, unless you do something stupid, <laughs> right? Which I'm prone to do. And <laughs> all right, so um, the next question here is, how do you make money from your channel? I, uh, I'm monetized, I get, I get paid off of the ad rate, uh, so I get, a, I get a monthly payout for AdSense from YouTube, and I think it's at 55% at they pay ad, I think. I um, think it depends also on what country your views are yes, coming that's, from. Yes, that's a, that's a big deal. If you have a channel that has primarily American viewers, it's gonna be a lot you higher. will make a lot more money. Yes than somebody who has a channel that has primarily Indian viewers. Yes, yes. If, if Russia is your main audience, yes. nobody, you will make you next nobody. to nothing. Because <laughs> yes. advertisers don't care what the Russians yes. buy. Yes, um, but <laughs> India is obviously an emerging market. Yes. And so, um, so that is something where, yes, you can make some money, but if you have American viewers, yes. a lot more money. Yeah, it's a lot easier to climb that hill. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I would tell you about making money on YouTube is uh, you will be approached by all kinds of people wanting to say, hey, do this, you know, we, we represent this, try this, try that. Know what your worth is, right? Like, make a decision today, if I'm going to do something, it's gonna be at this dollar amount. Mm -hmm. Because people will take advantage of you all day long. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they don't pay. And if they do pay, they pay by PayPal, and then something happens, they decide that they're gonna dispute it and take it back, and it's, there's, you're almost helpless in it. So, decide in your mind what you're worth, mm -hmm. right? Your time's worth something. If somebody said, hey, listen, I wanna, you know, uh, I, I don't know, I, you know, I, I got this thing and I want you to do something and I'll, I'll send it to you, here's a watch, take the watch, you know, whatever. I mean, it, make, make up your mind on that. There's also an outfit called Oogla. Oogla. Be, be aware of that. Yes. Oogla. Oh, it's O-G-I-L-A. I, I would, um, I would be a little more forceful and say, not be aware, be wary. Yeah, them. run from them. Because yeah. what, what they'll do is they'll approach you, because their whole thing is, if you're not monetized, you can make money with us by reacting to videos mm -hmm. that we send you. Sounds great, right? And they'll say, we're going to pay, we'll pay you $50 a video to react to it. And on top of that, you know, we'll do this, we do that. And you start down this road. Mm -hmm. and, and so I thought, wow, that sounds really good. So I started doing this with them. And they were giving me content that was uh, New Zealand rock music, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. right? I'm gonna, I'll put it up. We'll, we'll let it. And I started noticing that this New Zealand rock music was outperforming my core, and that doesn't make any sense. Or here's another one. Before any of you heard about Jussie Smollett yes, in the news, yes, I, yes. they sent us a video clip of one of his songs. Yes. React to this. Yes. And it got all of these views, views. and we were like. How are we getting views? Because this is not sense. our audience. It's it doesn't outpacing. make sense. It's outpacing. Yeah. Right. And so I started looking into the company. And what they do is they have a kind of a pyramid scheme where they have these gambling sites. And so if you want credit to gamble on their site, you have to watch a video. And then they get credit for them to try to win whatever it is. And so what will end up happening, if you are monetized, you'll lose your AdSense because mm -hmm. now you're manipulating the system. Right. So I'd be very careful with anything like that. And we were unaware of that initially no until those two videos when we saw, this is not right. They're, they're getting hundreds of thousands yes. of views like in two days, and that's not normally how our views go. Um, so we started looking into this company, and that's when we found that yes. out. And so Jeremy directly asked the are woman, are you YouTube safe? Are you YouTube safe? And she refused to yeah. answer the question. And we were like, okay, yeah, we right. cannot do anything with them because that will jeopardize our AdSense yes. and we can't, we yeah. can't do that. Google's really OGILA. Yeah. And not only that, they paid me through PayPal. And then when I pulled everything back, they, then they, took, said, the they back. took the money they back. They took the money back. So if you're going to do something like that, 
maybe a Visa gift card that they send you. Take that option. They can't take that back. Maybe or unless just, they're really big. Just don't do it. In in my opinion, it's not even worth the risk to your channel to get involved with something like that. So YouTube has very uh, specific rules about um, monetization. So, um, are you making money from YouTube directly? Yes. Um, and the uh, the other thing I would say too is because of the YouTube audience, the radio station we make money on on uh, selling airtime. But anybody here who wants to do radio with me, that that's no charge. I mean, right. we're, this is this is really about community. I mean, this is this is important. So understand that the the money that we make from our YouTube channel comes directly from ads. Yeah. We don't ask. Well, our, we sell we sell T-shirts and stuff too. Right. Right. Selling merchandise. <laughs> um, but we don't ask. Uh, we call them our friends, people who subscribe to our channel. We don't ask our friends to send us money. Yeah. We don't ask them to support us financially. Yes. Um, if they're watching a video and they don't yes. close that ad, we get paid from the ad revenue. Yeah. So that's that's enough for us. I, I know a lot of people have Patreon, Patreon accounts. Yeah, I, I, I'm not saying anything to anybody who decides that that's the route yes. they want to go. We've just decided that's not the route we want to go because our, our audience is India. As an American, I don't feel right asking an Indian to send me money yeah. to watch support the video. my channel. Watch the video. Yeah, just watch the video. Yes, Eric. What length of time do you need to watch a ad on a video so that the person with the channel receives payment? Get the last whole la ad? Uh, no, last I heard was 30 seconds. Okay. It was 30 seconds at all. But the longer you watch, the more they pay out for the ad. Oh, okay. Right. But sometimes they place those ads in a place where you can't see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, right, like, right. So sometimes you'd have to close it. Um, <clears throat> what kind of equipment do I use? None. Uh, no, that's pretty easy. I, uh, I have a Logtech camera now. I'm, like, moving up. Logitech? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, I think, 1080. I got my eye on the 4K version maybe one day, I don't know. Um, and then I have a busted up uh, blue mic uh, that I dropped on the floor. It's got a big crack in it. But it still works. It, it still, still works. works. And, what I, and I've thought about getting in a new mic, but in what, I, what ends up happening is the Indians know the mic. They do. They, they when we go to restaurants or something, we set up the mic. They're like, you brought the mic. Hey, yes. it's the mic. <laughs> uh, and, it's, and, then, and, and then I, I use... Um, Vegas Pro to edit, right? Is that Vegas? What is it, son? They've changed the name. It. Vegas Pro, I got it. Yeah. They've changed the name, though. Yeah, like and they, movie they, Maker they, Studio or something. Know. And I use that to edit with, and I render, right? And sometimes, like, a fast rendering for me is, like, 25 minutes. Carly, what do you render in? What do you render in? Do you mean, like, the program or the time? No, with your time. Yes. What? 30 seconds? But what do you use? Uh, Adobe Premiere. Yeah, yeah. oh, so that's, that's, some, that's too much right. technology for me. Yeah. I don't know if I can do that. Right. Um, do I have any sponsors? And if so, how did you get them? Kind of have sponsors, kind of, but uh, the main one I would say is kind of a sponsor is uh, Star India. Oh, mm -hmm. And they are the largest streaming company in the world. They were recently um, acquired by Rupert Murdoch, and so if you know anything about him, you know that um, he is kind of a media mogul and Fox News and all of that. So Star India is massive. It is a massive company. And, and I, I think he bought it because of us. He bought Star India because he's like, I got to get the Yeah, professor. I don't know that that's true, though, actually. Um, yeah. So, uh, so what my arrangement is with them is, is they give me content that I'm copyright free to use that yes. I can then turn around and that I could then turn around and make videos using their content and get paid on it and not run into copyright issues. Be right. Before this arrangement, I would see the big guy, Jabby Kawai, had this agreement with them and he would react to all their stuff and I'm like, this is a great idea. I'm going to react to it. And then it was copyright strike after strike, and you got to fight it. And it was, it, so so I mean that's my sponsor kind of, but it's more of a barter system. 
So they will um, actually send us emails oh, yes. with different links of videos that they want us to react to. And There's 50. We need them tomorrow. Uh. Originally, Jeremy started reacting to some of the videos, and then he said, well, hey, you know, you should do some with me. And so I did. <laughs> and then they said, um, for this next batch, we want the Warrior Queen in all of them. Yes. It's like, so, uh, all right. Yeah. Which is not, again, not possible. So. All right. So that was, that was the end of Sherry's questions. Yes. Oh. Uh, about the copyright, that was my question. Was um, again, I, you you react to videos uh -huh. like movies, Indian movies, uh -huh. Indian movies uh -huh. other trailers. So, what about the copyright issue that you're showing okay. a movie? Okay. Um, that's a great question. YouTube is based in America, so we get American copyright laws, which is awesome. So now we have fair use. So now what I'm doing is I'm making commentary, satire, mm -hmm. or education. And I'm free to use their video without uh, copyright strike. Anybody's so video. anybody's video. Now, what can happen? What can happen when you do that is a company could say, "I don't care about fair use. I'm copyright striking you anyways." The one who owns the video. Who owns the video? Yeah. And that will happen sometimes. And that will happen. And then what you do is you say, "I appeal it. It's right. fair use." Right. And what they have to do is they have to sue you. They have to take you to court to yeah. prove. Copyright and nobody's doing that. Because fair use is uh, satire, education, or uh, commentary. Commentary. There are wrong. there are a couple of other things that are covered under fair use, and so you should definitely take the time to go Google the fair use laws. Yes. Um, because with what we're doing, we're taking snippets. We're yes. taking out of a out of a three hour film, we're taking three to five minutes of that film and reacting to that and by the time we're finished with our commentary our intro the outro now it's a 15 minute yes. video that we have made and we've yes. only incorporated maybe three minutes of their it, film we haven't ever ever had a situation where youtube has denied our appeal yes they've upheld every one of our appeals three copyright strikes and you're done and i think i've had 37 of them three and, at one time yes, yes. if it, you have three at one time your channel will be terminated yes. So you, you have to fight them. You can you can get copyright claims, which means that's that's my material. You can use it, but I'm going to get every penny for right. it. Right. There's nothing you can right. do. Right. Jeremy, you got to stay in the camera. Sorry. Yes, yes, Eric. Eric. Well, just a, another question. I'm going to back up to the to the tag, search engine optimizer, the words, things of this nature. That sounds um, complicated. Yeah, it is. <laughs> when you're doing your tags uh -huh. on your YouTube thing, you know, you're going to publish it up there. <coughs> Put your hashtags. Ah, yes, that's a okay. So, because I didn't know what to do with that. It's, right. So, what you do, you put it in the item description. So, so you have your title, then you have the box where you're putting, you know, whatever it is. You hashtag in there, and then what happens with the uh, uh, with the uh, the YouTube system is if it is if it's one of the top words, it then highlights it in blue and it will put it in the title, and you'll see it listed. Actually. On that. Okay. What it is is with YouTube, YouTube allows you to put up the 15 hashtags in your description, uh -huh. and the first three that you put are the three that show. But if you put your location, like, or it gives you the option to put your location, uh -huh. like, say you put Phoenix, uh -huh. your location will override your hashtag. So don't ever put your location <laughs> oh. or your hashtag will disappear. Oh, that's good. So to just know. FYI. I think you got yourself a mastermind right there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Two hopefully quick <laughs> questions. One, how did you get your names? Because I doubt that was how you were christened. Uh, Correct. And then, have you been to India? Uh, <laughs> second one first. We have not been to India. We haven't been to India. The name came from that man right there. Was that was him. your name. He named me. Uh, he named me the professor. Right. And it stuck. Um, you can explain my name. Uh, <laughs> I I listen I listen to uh, sports radio in the morning, and a guy locally named Ron Wolfley who always refers to his wife as the Warrior Queen. And I always called her that as my Warrior Queen as a nickname. And then when we decided to bring her on, I, I thought it would just be better not to use names and, and have nicknames. And uh, so... Um, but now everybody knows our names yes, anyway. So. Names. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about the name Movie Community College? And what's the URI connection? I saw the URI. URI. Oh. That's a that's an Indian movie. Oh. It's called Uri. U R I. Oh, it's an Indian movie. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I went to the University of Rhode Island. That's what I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, or the University of 
University of Rhode Island. That's okay because um, our son is an ASU graduate, and so Jeremy has several ASU hats. Well, ASU is actually a Hindi word also, and so often people will see his hat yes. and assume it's a Hindi word. Yes, and it means dog. Right. And so they say, so why are you wearing a hat that says dog? Yes, um, <laughs> but there are, there are several of our friends yes. uh, on the channel who have also gone to ASU, and then they will say, no, that's Arizona State University. So. And, and they think the, the pitchfork has something to do with Shiva. And right. It's, it's, but it's, right. And they do, but they're like, ah, you yes. like Shiva. It's, no, it's, it's Sparky. It's Sparky is something. And awesome. Movie Community College was the name my son named me. Oh, right. okay. Because and, we're not high tech like a university. Yes. We're and, a community and college. And a lot of a lot of Indians will say, change your name. Change your name. It should be something else. You're you know, react to India in your name and, and I say my son named it. My son named it, he gave me this graphic for movie, and I'm not changing anything because it's my boy. So I And the reason they've asked us to change it is because while our primary focus um, initially was Indian movies and trailers and that sort of thing, um, we've also gotten into a lot of Indian politics and we talk a lot about Indian politics. Mm -hmm. And many of our newer subscribers are like that's why I'm here is because of the politics. I don't care about the movies, mm -hmm. so change your name. But yes, and, and we got into politics because then I started doing a, uh, a character, right? So I started trying to come up with different characters that I could be because I'm low tech and I got to like, and at the point, at that point in time, there was nobody to collaborate with. I would try to say, hey, listen, I'm trying to do YouTube. Will you be in a video with me? And people were like, I, I know. No. And so I, I came with this idea when we're talking about Indian politics. I got these masks from um, Walmart. Hot, was it Walmart I or was it Hot so. Topic? I think it was Walmart. And it's a plastic yeah. mask. That's one of them, yes. Yep. Yes, and, I, and I'm the co protector. I put that on and I put on a hood and I'm India's co protector watching the LOC, which is the line of control between India and Pakistan. And they make jokes about how I'm. Patrolling at night, but don't worry, I don't look in your windows because that would be creepy and, it, right. and it's something what else. Co-protector. It was just co a character. Yeah, co, like C-O, protector. Okay. Just because I needed someone. I, I would just, yes. Okay, um, you talk about politics now. Uh -huh. American politics is very, very, very um, a dumpster fire. It is. And, and dicey um, on YouTube. Very, uh, I'd be afraid to say anything on YouTube. If somebody found me, they might shoot my house. Um, <laughs> So when you talk about politics, uh -huh. it sounds like you're actually talking a little bit different type of situation because you're talking about the Pakistani border. Yes. So yes, could you we're touch talking on about that a little bit? Indian sure. politics. Indian politics. Um, uh, yes, uh, America, Israel, and India are the great democracies in the world, right? Though we are a republic, not a democracy. I'm sorry. You, yes. you are correct. Very yes. good. And we, we have had common threats, common threats against us. And when we, when we talk about those threats, um, there's, there's just a lot of commonality with the Indian people. The Indian people are living with terrorism at their doorstep, Daily. bombings. Israel is, you know, it wasn't that long ago we had 9-11. So there, there's, a, there's a sense of, 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 um, of a political nature to it. And, Expressing those views get people mad. I mean, they get mad just like they do with American politics, but I don't. The difference is um, because most of our audience is Indian, not Pakistani, 71% of those people who watch us are Indian, 0.7% of our viewers are Pakistani. Yes. Um, India is a much more free society than Pakistan. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and I'm not yes, kidding you when I say this. Powerful. In Pakistan, often the internet is actually turned off. They turn it off. And you will notice when yes. the internet has been turned back on because you will get some trolley comments from Pakistanis. <coughs> um, otherwise, it's like radio silence from yes. Pakistan. Yes. Um, in America, of course, our, our main political parties are Republican and Democrat. In India, they have dozens yes, of political dozens. parties, dozens. Um, but like America, they have two that are kind of the main party. Mm -hmm. There's the Indian National Congress, which you all would recognize um, Mohandas Gandhi yeah. um, as kind of the founder of that. 
And then they have what is called the BJP, mm -hmm. which would kind of be the equivalent to a, I don't want to say Republican because no. they're even more conservative yeah, than that. Right. So it would be a conservative party. Yes. And those are kind of the two parties that um, figuratively duke things out and, over there. And their leader, the BJP leader, is a guy named Modi. And, and he is their current prime minister. And he is doing things in India that are amazing. He is, he is, he is um, uh, building infrastructure. He's outlawed right. open defecation, so now everybody has to have toilets. They are building industry. They're building smart cities where the light system is based on how many people are stuck in traffic. They speed the lights up. They just put a a, uh, um, a missile that can shoot down satellites, and they're the fourth nation to be able to do that behind America, Russia, and China, now now India. So India is moving in such a direction of, of modernization. The rupee was last in Asia for currency, now it's number one. It is becoming this, this gigantic wave. You know, we think about China being like this great Chinese threat to whatever you hear on the news. It's, India has them beat so quickly. Their population, the millennial population, outnumbers China like three to one. It is going to be something in the future that is just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, India has a big program of sending now set up to send uh, men to the moon and to Mars. Right, right. So that yeah. takes some room. Yes. Yes. And and a lot of this is being done um, under the leadership of their current prime minister, uh, Narendra Modi. The vast majority of our Indian viewers are conservative. Yes. And um, and that's not to say that some of our viewers are not, because some of them are not conservative. And yet they know that we are. Yes. Um, and they respect our views, and we respect their yes. views. Um, it just happens that we have a lot in common politically yes. with the conservatives that are in India. And I think if you knew how the two countries were formed, right. uh, when Mah Mahatma Gandhi suggested that all the Muslims in India move to Pakistan right. and everybody in Pakistan that were Hindus, yeah. right. and it was this huge migration that took six months. That and partition it, it all happened, but it was like crazy. Yes, and that partition was, I mean, it's still something that clearly is hotly debated. And um, multitudes of movies have been done about the subject. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so obviously some of those movies are things that we watch and that we're interested in. And so we talk about it on our channel. And, um, but long way around to get back to, we're not really, we're not worried yeah, that no, people are going to come after us because, because we have a, well, it's right. a long drive. Right. Yeah. It is a long <laughs> drive, it's a long there's drive. that. It's a long um, drive. But most of our, <laughs> most of our viewers were like-minded with them, so. What I would say, one of the things that opened my mind up and just like, I was just blown away by this, this self-discovery. That looks like Luke Masaryk. Is that Luke <gasps> Masaryk? Look Mazurek. at this guy. Hi, hey. Look at that. Look at that. He's that's just too friend. freaky. Yeah. They, what's the odds that guy looks like Luke Mazur? Yeah. Well, I knew he was in town. I, just I didn't, didn't know, know that. that he was here so here's what something that blew my mind in this after the first show late trailer where I was like, ah, oh, what am I gonna do? Alright, World War II. Six million Jews died in World War II. Terrible, right? That's terrible. No who says like, oh, that's a good thing? That's not, it's a terrible thing, right? As I begin to look into the film industry and I start doing these Russian films. I find out 30 million, 30 million Russians died. Like, how come I wasn't told that? That's amazing. Most of them. Then what I find out is between 200 to 300 million Indians died, not by Hitler's hand, but by Churchill's hand. And I am shocked by that because we hold Churchill up like, like look at this great hero. Great Britain has only just this past week acknowledged the truthfulness they of did. that statement. They yes, did. within the past and week. Yes. And it's and it's just and it's just an amazing thing. So I guess what I'm saying is, find your niche, become the subject matter expert in your niche, be yourself, make daily decisions on how you're going to do this, collaborate with people, and be successful and tag. And this guy here in the blue, sir, what's your name? Jason. Jason, talk to Jason about the analytics of it because this guy's really smart. You should be a mastermind. He's looking at. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Did you sir. have a question? <laughs> How much time do you spend each week? Because you're, you're doing research, you're watching yes. movies, you're making your own videos. I, uh, how much time do I spend? Uh, let's see, I get up at one in the morning, and I uh, make a pot of coffee, 
No, I make the coffee maker. I turn the coffee yes. maker yes. on. Yes. I turn the coffee maker yes. on, and um, I probably uh, will take three or four videos. But again, there's no editing, so it's like three minutes of three That's minutes. That's true. And uh, so I'll make three or four. Yeah, so watch movies. I'm going to say, sir. 20 hours a week. That's what I was going to say. I'm going to say 20 hours a week. Yeah. You know a lot about India where you started this in nothing. So. Well, but it's been three years. It's been three years of so, 20 hours a week. Yeah. But that's only your time. It's not your time. Well, we kind of yeah. consider combined time. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess to be fair, I probably also put 20 hours a week. So. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Uh, what advice? Put a description to your video. <laughs> in the video. Tags. Yeah, tags. tags. Uh, hashtags. Uh, talk to Jason about the analytics. That would have been really helpful. And I would say for starting your channel, what do you like? Oh, I already have an idea of what okay. it's going to be. Do, do it. I mean, like, do so, you got to do something that you're going to enjoy. Right. Because everybody can tell if you're faking it, right? If you yeah. just throw something up, like, you know, whatever. Yeah. I'm going to do a channel about unicorn. People will be like, I don't know. Um, another piece of advice, do not listen to the trolls, because they will troll be Troll the trolls, it's so much fun. It's not <laughs> fun to troll the trolls, it wastes your time, it gets you angry. Yeah, they'll come and say, oh, your channel's terrible, you should just quit. Yes, yes, yeah, whatever. Yes, exactly. Um, don't listen to it. It really is not worth your time, it's irritating, it's frustrating, I get that. But it is a time <clears throat> sucker and a time waster, so literally just don't even pay attention but to it. But then troll them back. Do not troll them back. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, two part question. Um, so, with how much views you get from the specific culture, is, do you, is it a lot to do with who you guys are? I lived in India. So Whoa, what? <laughs> Where at? What part? Um, I was in Chennai, I was in Delhi, and Kashmir. Super oh, Kings! Wow. That's Dhoni. Huh? Uh, anyways. <laughs> you were in Kashmir? Yeah. Wait, did you feel at all, like, unsafe? I loved it, but I was warned before I went that I wouldn't get helped out. Yeah. It's beautiful from what I Kashmir looks so beautiful. Yeah. I'm afraid that if I went to Kashmir, I'd end up in an orange jumpsuit. Yes. <laughs> it's scary. I was on the Pakistan Acro river. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, wow. But your question, go ahead. My question Basically, was, whoa. do you think you guys get that kind of feedback that you I would say that the vast majority of our feedback is very positive from the Indian people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, we were reacting to a video the other day. It was kind of like a man on the street interview. Um, an Indian guy who has a channel, and I think he lives in America yes, or Canada. Yes. And so his channel is basically, he goes around and asks people like 10 questions about India. And he started off in Canada and they just bombed miserably. And then he got to Boston, and they did a whole lot better, which made me feel good as an American, um, but they didn't do as good as we would have. And I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, we yeah, were we so would have nailed that, we would have done good at this, that, and the other. Um, but I said, one of his questions was, what are Indians mean, or what are they bad at? And I said, well, I know something that they're bad at. They're bad at being mean, because they're not mean. They're just nice people. Yeah. And, and that's been our experience, uh -huh. not just on the channel, um, but personally, over the course of our lives, uh, having lived in the Chicago area, which is where we were born and raised, and then living out here, our personal face-to-face -face experience with Indian people has been largely positive. Um, so for us, this is kind of like a, a match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're kind to us, we're kind to them, they love us, we love them. Um, most of the trolley comments are when Pakistan's internet has been turned back on. <laughs> um, there go. Uh, and the occasional uh, Russian hater or Chinese hater. Yes. Um, but mostly it's positive. 
Uh, yes. yes, 85% men, Yep. 85% uh, percent men, and then I think we have an interesting demographic because uh, it, it starts at 13 and it goes to 55, so what is, what is happening, it goes to 65. what is happening is grandson, son, and grandfather are watching yes. us, and we often hear like it's a family affair that, yes. Yes. that everybody is watching in the house. And while most of our viewers are Indian, um, you can go in the analytics and see you know, who's watching. Almost every country that does watch us, that 85 to 15 ratio is the same. Yes. Russia's the only outlier, and even then, it's 77% men and 23% women. Yes, sir. I noticed, um, I build websites, and I've gotten very good with SEO. <coughs> and I've noticed that on WordPress, that when you build a page, you have to be very narrow with your focus keywords mm -hmm. on a page. But when you work on a blog, it's almost identical to YouTube. You have to have tags in there where on pages you don't. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be so narrow. You can have a much wider title as long as you're using the tags. So the tags, because obviously it goes out through Google and who owns YouTube? Right, right. yeah, yeah right. Google. Google. So they're yeah. going to make it to function almost identical. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the tags are important even yeah. over, over in there when you're doing blog pages. Yeah. Playlists. You address playlists oftentimes. To kind of give you a little story and then a question. Um, I, I shoot car videos, uh -huh. whether I'm riding the car, driving the car, doing burnouts. You do car what? Shows. You do burnouts? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Man, we got to yeah. collaborate, bro. Got a tire count. Uh, but anyhow, um, it's a lot of fun. We have a great time doing it. And depending upon the nature of the car, whether it's a Hemi, whether it's a classic, whether it's a custom, whether it's a Model T or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in a playlist, but I use multiple playlists. Mm -hmm. Is that a good thing or a bad thing to use multiple playlists for one video? Because the video could address several mm. different playlists that I've created. Mm. So is that um, a good or a bad thing? Um, I tend to, I tend to uh, when I first started out, I, I would put the video in multiple playlists because I thought I was going to be capturing a wider audience if it's right. in different playlists. And what I found is that really didn't hold for me. And so I try to keep it that video into a specific playlist. Uh, so I try to I try to narrow it down. I think playlists to me are important. A lot of times I go onto somebody else's YouTube page and it's unorganized, and the, and it's just you know the uploads are going and I don't know where to start or you know I've watched one. What's next? If I see a playlist, then I'm like, oh okay, we're gonna do this thing. We're gonna do burnouts. Let's watch all the burnouts and and it it's helpful. So I like playlists. I use yeah. playlists and I try to keep. Yeah. A video in a, a specific playlist. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, when you do reaction videos like this one right here, where you're actually playing the trailer with uh -huh. do your videos get demonetized like immediately? Um, when I first to one time I did a reaction video uh -huh. because I was reacting to this like popular YouTube channel, uh -huh. um, and like as I was uploading it, I could see that it was getting demonetized Instant. immediately. Instant. Yeah. So have you ever gotten around that, or is like or do Indian trailers are they not that strict? With <laughs> Put a <laughs> filter over it so nobody can see yeah. it. Um, so like flip it horizontally or <laughs> no. So when I first started, everything was demonetized or copyright struck. I mean everything. And it was, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe when I hit 60,000 subscribers, all of a sudden people were like, leave them alone. A lot more lenient? Yeah, they became, yeah. And, the, and, the, and, and the guy, the number one guy in my genre told me as you get bigger, what you'll find is... is you know they'll they'll share instead of copyright they'll share revenue with you, or they'll just they'll they realize that it's an asset to have somebody promoting their thing. Now that is slightly different with India than America. Um, we have had some videos where we were reacting, and it just happened to be like a Comedy Central clip. No. Oh. They wanted a copyright strike immediately, and so they we wanted appealed to fight it. my mom. I mean, it was just so <laughs> ridiculous. We appealed it, yes. and we won the like, appeal. Well, fight my mom, Comedy Central. And they came back and tried to strike us yes. again. Yes, at, like after immediately. we won. After we won, and, and then so John Stewart wanted to arm wrestle, and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> That's You're not too true. short. That's, That's not, not fair. <laughs> um, and so what they decided, since they couldn't get us that way, was that they just had the video blocked. So they were able to block it. 
American companies, in our experience, are terrible, much more terrible. difficult to oh, deal with indeed. than Indian companies. No. The, a lot of the Indian companies look at it as, this is a benefit to us. Yes. You're drawing yes. attention to our movie, our music, yes. our, our culture, and so they are much more forgiving than American companies. I would also say, too, um, like, look at our state. Like, what a beautiful state. It's so diverse. Right, we have Navajo Nation, we have the Grand Canyon, we have all these things to explore and do. Like, how many great videos are out there? How many great, you know, restaurants are out there? How many, we have all these shows? Like, like I know somebody's gotta have a GoPro that can do it better than me just running around with my phone. Like, it would be so cool. There's so much to do there. You guys can do this. I mean, it's, like, I'm the worst example at doing this and just stumbling my way through it. You guys can do it, I know you can. Yes. It's no, it's 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 a good part time job. Right. Yeah, it's a good part time. No, job. Jeremy has a full time job. I mean, it's you know fifty hours that he's gone every week. So no, this as he said, it, it's a part time income. It would be lovely if one yes. day that could be the case, and that's the eventual goal, but not at this point. And, and you have kids well, too. We yes. have one grown yeah, son. There he is. What's up, buddy? Oh. And a daughter in law. That's he and his wife right yes. there. Yes. Yeah. He just got married so, in Sedona. So, so you hope you don't have to take too much time to take care of him. Uh, no, he's he's twenty three. He's yes. out on his own and married, so yeah. He looks like he's sixteen. <laughs> yes, he does look young. Yes? Well I just wondered from the very outset when you were doing the podcast uh -huh. on it. What was your motivation for doing all this, and has it changed over time? I mean, was it to make money? Was that uh, no, the podcast started off. Um, the podcast started off. Um, <laughs> I ran into an issue at a church, and I didn't like how it was handled. And I thought to myself, self, surely I'm going to take this concern up the chain of command. And somebody's going to say that's a valid point. We need to look into this. And there, nobody did. Nobody. Well, like, they said it was a valid point, but, but we're not going to look. You're welcome to leave. So, yeah. and I and I I got really upset by this, that I took my frustration out on podcasting. I then yes. went and podcast my, like this is terrible. Mm -hmm. I'm upset, and that that was kind of my motivation for starting was a. And then it did self. it did morph, a few times. Yes. Um, the podcast kind of trailed off. And for a time, we actually bought radio space mm -hmm. on a local FM station where we did a political show. Uh -huh. um, and we enjoyed that, yeah, it was fun. but it's very expensive. It's expensive. So um, Jeremy decided, well, we have this YouTube channel Let's that we've something. done nothing Let's with. Let's try something. Uh, it was out there from 2014 to 2016, mm -hmm. literally did nothing with it. And so let's try that, see what works. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. And when you said you make a massive amount of videos with you in one day, mm -hmm. what is massive? It depends on how long they are. If it's a short video, like three to five minutes, we might do 12 or 15 videos at one time. Um, if it's a longer video, and longer videos would be, we've watched an Indian film, and so we're going to review it. That's going to be a 15 or 20 minute video, just us talking about the film. Um, so if we have a lot of those videos, we might do five at a time. So. And I would say videos a week, I would say 20 maybe? I'm going That's to guess. what I was thinking. 20, 20 yeah. videos a week? And again, you don't have it. <laughs> no. No. And, and, and so how many are you, are you posting 20 videos? Oh, no, no. So here's something that I used to. I would do like, it's going to be upload weekend. And the Indians would be like, yeah, you did 15 in a day. Right? And they would be excited. And I'd just start uploading, upload up. And then what I, what I found out was if you do more than three videos in a 24-hour period, your subscribers aren't notified. Right. So, so you, we just found that out. So like you do the three ago. videos, and everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth video you put up, you're like, "What happened to the views? They're gone." Right. And a week later, like, "How come I didn't get notified?" And then I found out it's because you you maintain in that. Right. So I try I try to do that three in a 24 hour period, but I get so 
happy. He gets that wanted, very zealous. Let's do more. Yeah. yeah. And just we'll, we'll, who cares about the twenty four hour period? It's videos for everyone. Yes, sir. Do you guys schedule them out now, or do you just upload all that once or just schedule them all over a time period so they don't come all at once? Like, uh, I should do that. <laughs> that's a good idea. There's another mastermind waiting yes. right there. Ooh, that's a good idea. I, I want to. Excited? I get excited. He man. gets excited, do. and so usually before he goes to work, he uploads two videos. I try to like I try to I try to schedule her yes. appearance because a couple times I've gotten overzealous and I put too much of her up, and I've run out to the next time, and then the Indians are really mad. They're like, where, where yes. is, they call her auntie. Where is auntie? Yes. Where is auntie? Yes. One other quick one, sorry. Do you guys no. use Handbrake to compress the file so it's easier to upload? What is Handbrake? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a software that you guys mm. does. If you mm. are up on the video and it takes a long time, you can let it go. Upload to Handbrake say, and it compresses the video file. Can I just so say, how many say people no, here no. have been taking my meetup? So, yeah. So, should they join us or what? Yeah. 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 Handbrake. So I mean, we got. We, we should out. use that. Handbrake. Quality goods. Yes. What? We should do that, but we never we heard of down. it, so oh. we had you know not. Yeah. It's it's pretty pretty yes. Sherry's been talking about it for That's 44 awesome. weeks. Okay. So, yes. so, so you get up at one. When do you go to bed? Um, I go to bed about five or six. Oh, about six o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in the evening. Yeah. So I'm like, this is like. I'm just full bore right now. I'm way past my bedtime. No, Jer Jeremy works. Bunch of monsters. Jeremy works four 10 hour days unless he has overtime. So that means he gets Saturday and Sunday off and then one day during the week. And that one day rotates. Tomorrow is that one day. So tomorrow we will be Video taking videos. Video City. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to get my number. Thank you. Uh, All right, so I would like to say I would like to say that Jeremy and Tish graciously agreed to be here. Yes. Gave us a right, gave us a Woo! tremendous amount of time. <laughs> We're fabulous, right? Yes. We got a ton of information, didn't we? Yes. Okay, so would we like to invite them back? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's make that happen. And then all of you, please remember, we want to make a community here. So email me the links to your channels. I'm going to put that in the newsletter. If you are not signed up for the newsletter, do I have that on here? Um, well, let's see. Yeah, support at youtubebootcamp.com. Send me an email at support at youtubebootcamp.com that you want to sign up for the newsletter don't, don't so that we can all collaborate and we can all share and we can all subscribe and become a community. And then the other thing that we want to do is we want to um, express our thanks to Movie Community College. So if you would all please send me your comments about tonight as well as fill out the form so that the library wants us to continue doing masterminds. That would be awesome. And then I will collect all of that and I, I would love it if we would make a collaborative thank you video. Okay? How about that? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Collaborative thank you video. So um, get on the newsletter, let me get that happening because we want to we want to do that and if you individually want to thank them by video, please send me the link to that video and I will collect that and we'll make a nice thank you for them okay so let's let's give them a big round of applause okay so we have uh, about 10 minutes that you guys can talk for those of you that have never been to a YouTube boot camp meetup before um, I have just recently completed a six-week course on basic YouTube training. And if you don't know anything about YouTube, thank you. Um, or you know some things about YouTube, but you spend two years not doing anything with your channel, this is a great course for you. So it's um, just go to YouTubeBootCamp.com and look under mm -hmm. Courses, and then you can click the link and learn a lot more. This coming Tuesday, we're going to have another how to make YouTube videos with your phone. 
and Christiane's husband, Mark, is going to be speaking about editing. And for those of you that have watched her, watch editing. Watch, yeah, <laughs> watch her, right. So you know I've been doing challenges, you. YouTube trailer challenges, and Christiane's YouTube trailers have gone from kind of, all right, not so great, right? Yeah. Not so great to really phenomenal, really phenomenal. And the editing which her husband Mark does is amazing. So for those of you that want to learn about editing from someone awesome, please be there next week. And for those of you that were here on Tuesday or were not here but are coming next week, 30 second video channel trailer on your phone, okay? So if you do it, email me the link and I'm gonna pick five to show next week. And I think we are done. Yes, okay, that's it. So thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Hey guys, let's get a group photo. Any additional questions, let them know, but please be out of here by quarter up.